So this is the story of saving a green turtle. He was stranded on the beach at Kinker Beach in Queensland, Australia, on the 9th of March, 2020. And uh, I, got a, I got a phone call from some, from, from some friends that were down the beach, and they'd seen the turtle and didn't know what to do. So I phoned the ranger, the wildlife ranger, and uh, he asked me some more details about it. So I, I ended up having to go across the road and have a look, having a look for the turtle and giving him some dimensions and information about the turtle. Is it active and that sort of thing? So I headed across the road to the beach and down the walkway to the beach and looked out at the ocean and the sea was a long way out. <laughs> it goes a long way out here, but it's a lovely sandy beach. And then I headed down through the dunes and through the vegetation and onto the beach itself and looked out across and I saw a little lump in the sand and headed across and there's the poor turtle. And he was flapping around a little bit. When I went near him, he flapped around and moved around. So he wasn't, uh, he wasn't in terrible pain or um, you know, on death's door or anything like that. So uh, I measured him at about one and a half feet or so and um, headed back up to talk to the ranger. And uh, the ranger came out and we went down the beach and saved the turtle together. So anyway, here's some videos coming up showing what happened. Before we go on, I'd just like to apologise for the quality of the sound that's coming up. Uh, it's not very, it's not really a windy day here today, but uh, my video camera doesn't react well to wind apparently. I didn't really know this, so I need to get a wind microphone. So sorry about the audio, it is quite windy and blustery in the, in the microphone. It's not very windy here though, but I'm, I apologise for the audio. So here I am. That's where the caravan, Island View Caravan Park and Motel are, right up there. So come down the path in front, I think it's KB4, Kinker Beach 4. Come down, and here's a turtle right here. So, you know, right. Don't know where it's saying, he's in the water, or she. Uh, he's not that big. I'd say he's uh, sort of like two feet, maybe. A foot and a half, two feet, head to, head to tail. I don't really want to grab him because if he flaps about and I drop him or if he hurts himself, I don't want him to hurt himself, so. Um, he is, see there's my sandal so you can, get a, you can get some scope. You're right, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you. So he's a flash touch to it. So you can see there he's about, uh, he's about one and a half one, of my, one and a half one of my sandals, I suppose. Um, yeah. I put my foot in. You're right, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you. We're going to save this turtle. I've got onto the ranger. If I had a wheelbarrow, I'd carry up. He says, keep you away from dogs. Um, don't let dogs mess with you. Of course, people would let their dogs do it. They're some idiots. And keep him wet. Well, he's already wet, so... I'm sorry you're not feeling well, little chap. I'm sorry. Hey, I'll leave you in peace. We'll get the ranger and get some help for you. Okay. Stay, stay tight, little chap. Stay there. We'll, we'll help you soon. So I phoned a ranger and uh, gave him all the details about the turtle, the size and the condition and everything like that. And he met me and we went down together to the beach with a friend and uh, we helped to save the turtle together. Yeah. Yeah, it looked like you could probably swim. Yeah. Should we carry him down to the water then? I reckon. I can always carry him out there. Even just to this centre gutter might be... Put him in that one there. Yeah, centre gutter. That'll save water all up there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get ready to catch him, just in case he flips. They're beautiful creatures. I'll go around this side and get his face. <laughs> Anyway, there's worse places to be stranded in beautiful Kinka Beach. <laughs> Just a shame the water doesn't go out so far, but... Yeah, I think you'd be fine in here. He's got a few barnacles on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a few. We've all got barnacles somewhere. <laughs> Beach, huh? Otherwise the creek's just down here, we can carry him to the creek.
GTA had an off day. No um, significant strikes. No. Buddy? No, he's looking pretty good. He's strong. Yeah. No. No. I cut one out of the shark nets on the Gold Coast when I was a lifesaver down there. And uh, it was trying to bite me the whole time, but <laughs> he was happy to be to, to be free of the shark net, that's for sure. Oh, he's doing his good deed for a turtle. <laughs> Second time I've helped save one. You probably think you're his mum, Murray, because you've got leopard skin on. It looks a bit like turtle scale. How <laughs> far <laughs> now? Bottom shell. Oh yeah, yeah. it flexes. Oh yeah. yeah. Bottom shell flexes. Even this yeah. feels softer than I thought it would feel. Yeah. They're beautiful animals. They are, yeah. Oh. No, I don't like them. I don't like snakes. I'm terrified of them. Well, they're going to come near me, I'm happy. They're going to be off the jump a couple of weeks ago. They turn the air condition for 18 and get out of there. And, uh, and the snake man came and got it and took it away from home. Oh, yeah. was he? Just a tree snake. Ah, oh, you don't want. I don't ask questions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't step on that. I hope so. Oh, The water's all mucky because of the heavy rains we've been having. It's flushed all the rivers out and it's all put all the silt. Otherwise it's beautiful blue water here. But uh, not today, not, 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 not this week. <laughs> I think so, Murray. Yeah, that's a nice and gentle area. Yeah. 
here we go. <laughs> you can go, little chap. There you go. Now it's on. It's a long way back. It's about a K and a half that way. <laughs> But it's a beautiful, beautiful beach and, a, and a, just a gorgeous area. So that's Great Keppel Island out there. Used to be world famous, but it's mostly shut down now. They're getting ready to redevelop the resort. And uh, Middle Island and North Keppel Island behind the cloud there. You probably can't see it on the camera. And this one here, is, we call it Seagull Island. And. Uh, there's 20, 23 islands off the coast here and all but one are national parks and the one that's not is Grey Keppel Island and about 90% of that's national park so everything here is really well protected we love our turtles, we love our dugongs we love our sharks no, everything's protected, we look after it very well so, so if, you're in, if you're in Australia and you feel like visiting a beautiful beach Hopefully it won't have rained real heavy and it won't have flushed out the rivers. And if you come to Kinga Beach or anywhere on the Capric Capricorn Coast, you'll get a lovely, uh, you'll get a lovely, lovely swim and lovely safe beaches. There's a nice big pelican down there. Okay, time to walk back. <laughs> I got my, got my legs all wet. It don't matter. Okay, time to walk back. Thanks for watching. So don't step on those because uh, they're useful for fish habitats and uh, algae to grow on and stuff. So don't step on that chap, it's just soft. The water's washed out. One of the creeks just recently, so it's come here in the sand. Another little coral, coral piece there washed up. Still a long way to go. See you later, turtle. Take care, friend. Take care, little chap. Hope he's okay. We might come down later today and check and tomorrow and check as well. Probably every day for the next month. <laughs> Make sure he's okay. Uh, one guy that was down here when we arrived earlier said there was another turtle over here yesterday. In a bit better condition, more likely. So, just a stormy weather. Stormy weather and a, and a silted up, you know, the, the silted up ocean. Makes it hard for us. It's a beautiful sand beach, it's not a mud beach. Some beaches, especially further north, uh, when the tide goes out, it's all mud. You know, it's muddy sort of sand. Here it's just lovely sand. No, no mud there. It's 
signs up that say you're wearing the stingers, you've got more chance of being struck by lightning playing golf. Just about, just about more chance than, uh, getting, than getting sung by one of the nasty stingers anyway. The nasty stinger jellyfish. The Eric Angie, they're very dangerous but they're very rare still around here. Further north, you've got to be very careful, especially in summer. But around here, not so much. Anyway, that, that's it for today. I'll keep walking. Got about a K to go or so, K and a half. And uh, come about half a K or so. <laughs> so the turtle seemed in pretty good spirits. He took off pretty well through the water and, and headed out towards the, the, op the open ocean. Uh, I think he was happy to be back in the water and away from the land and people and the heat. <laughs> and um, I kept an eye on the beach for a while and, and I'll head back to my, to, later on today. And I'll go every day for the next few days, at least, probably, probably for the next month. And check he hasn't washed up or check he's still not back on shore. If he is, I'll get the ranger back or help him myself, whatever I can do to help him. But anyway, I think we saved another turtle, so that's fantastic. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.